this thing is mapped out, planned out. Do you have rough up drawings downstairs somewhere? Good morning, welcome to today's vlog. We are back to school today. Spring break is over, backpacks getting packed, kids getting ready to go. It was hard to get up this morning, not just for me, but for the kids. And we were having a bit of a struggle getting going, but we did it, we're going, we're almost ready for school. Everything feels normal again, and it will be good to get back on schedule and have a routine again. Time to get these guys out the door and off to school. Yeah. Spring break is over and yes, we're wearing snow pants because it's cold. And we have requests for toques. So I need to dig those out too. Who knew? Well, it's Alberta, we knew, didn't we? We knew it would happen. This is a new before school activity. Let's go girls. It was so good to get out for a walk this morning and do something back in routine. A little bit of hesitation on Tig's part with going to school just because of how things have been with friends the last little while, which I can totally understand and I feel for her. That's not easy. I've been praying that her day goes well and that situations with friends can kind of just be easier. They've had a break from each other, haven't even had to be in the same space. But now it's time to get on with my day. I've got a thumbnail done. I've got a vlog posted and it's ready to go for today. I caught up on vlogs and so I actually am like right up to date. So when you're watching these, it has happened very recently. And so that is new for me. It's a little bit of pressure to make sure that I get vlogs done and keep them coming to you guys. Starts my morning with some green tea for a bit of an energy boost after my big walk this morning. I have a green tea that I absolutely love, but I'm currently trying to use up one that tastes terrible. I'm not going to lie. It's absolutely terrible. The Stash Green Tea. I don't know why I like pretty much all of their other teas, but their green tea is so bitter that I can barely get it down. The one I'm currently using, the one that we really like. Because I don't like this tea, it's kind of gross. I've got two, two tea bags in there trying to use them up, but also to make it fairly strong. And I only use a little bit of water and then I'll add some extra water to it to cool it down because I drink my tea tepid. I have friends who can verify this. <laughs> Giving me really hot tea guarantees a very long visit. I will stick around until I can actually drink my tea, which is tepid. And so I dump in a bunch of water and then I chug it because this is not your sipping tea. This is just get it down. If you like stash green tea, I'm sorry. It's just not my favorite over here. Bottoms up. Whew. Feeling so productive over here after days of just kind of sitting around doing whatever and just going by the, flying by the seat of our pants basically. So today I've got our sheets already washed through the dryer, gotta fold that stuff up, but I also have taken the time to bleach some towels and dishcloths. Just sitting in there ready to run through. It looks worse through the camera than it actually is. If you guys have any suggestions on something to use other than bleach, I'm very interested because I don't prefer to use bleach because of the health risks of using it, but it works. I never touched the TV while the kids were on spring break because I was just spending time with them trying to be present. And so I have all of my beach shows like Island Life and things like that that I haven't watched for at least two episodes. So I'm gonna go watch those and get my laundry folded. I don't fold the boys' laundry, but at least it's all sorted out. Still fold the girls' laundry and my big heap of sheets that still has to be taken upstairs and my bed remade. 
I was really excited to find the other day that Costco sheets were on sale. Kirkland Signature Sheets have been great for us. The reviews are really mixed. Some people say that they don't like them. Some people say that they love them. But for us, they've worked out really well. And I managed to get a pair of queen sheets for about $52. I think it was like $52.49. So I'm looking forward to those coming in because we are down to one pair of sheets. And that's just... You know, it's just one of those things if they happen to rip or if something happens and you have to change them, it's not convenient to only have one pair of sheets. So I am thankful that I managed to catch them on sale and have another pair on the way. I also really want to redecorate our bedroom. I want to paint it. I want to get a new duvet cover and things like that, but I don't even know where to start. If you guys have suggestions on how to decorate a bedroom, where to start? Do I just start with a duvet? Do I start with wall color? What do I do? Trying to decide. I'm kind of leaning towards a light gray and a blue accent wall. Not sure what color of blue. I, I don't know, maybe like a royal blue or something like that. How do you go about figuring out how you want to decorate your bedroom? I decided that since I am pretty much done everything else, I might as well go ahead and start our supper prep. A little while ago, I chopped up a whole bunch of beef. So I've got my beef for beef and broccoli sitting here thawing out. I have my broccoli thawing out, gonna go with two packages. I've got my sauce all mixed up. There's my ginger and my soy sauce and brown sugar. I've got my garlic coming over here. Just going to crush that into the sauce. That way when the girls get home from school, I'm able to just throw supper together when it's time, cook up the beef, throw in the sauce, throw in the broccoli, and it makes for a super easy, quick supper. I'm glad always when I've prepped ahead just a little bit, having the meat prepped and frozen in a thin sheet makes it thaw out faster, but it also makes it a lot quicker when I'm ready to throw supper together. The meat's already chopped, it's already mixed in with the cornstarch, and it just makes it so much easier. Kids are home. City planning is back in uh, business here. Back in business, baby! I think Kieran would rather go to school, but instead he's building us a new city on Animal Crossing. This thing is mapped out, planned out. Do you have rough up drawings downstairs somewhere? When are you going to start? Um, <laughs> Miss Addie Patty went to the library today. Mr. Caden is over here. He's home and he doesn't take a lunch, so he's always starving when he gets home. So he is snack attacking. What is today's snack of choice, Caden? Apples with Nutella by apples with peanut butter and toast with Nutella. Oh, well, there you go. Not apples with Nutella. <laughs> that doesn't taste good. Bailey's outside playing in the snow with her dog. It is, it's like changing back and forth, nice and nasty. Having everything ready to go made it super easy to throw supper together. It's kind of the busy part of the night. Kids are doing chores. We're getting things done. Our kids have to have all their chores done before they eat supper. Otherwise, they don't get to eat with us. They don't get to eat until they're done, till the work is done. Anyway, I cooked up the beef, pulled it out, threw in the onions and cooked them up and now the sauce is in there and threw the beef back in and now it's simmering. While that's simmering, I've got about a half an hour until supper needs to be on the table. I'm going to get some rice going. We do have a little bit left over from last night, so I only have to make a small amount, but I will get that going and then that's it. Supper is together. Towards the end, I will throw my broccoli into the pot to make sure that it gets heated through, but it's already totally cooked. So all it has to do is warm up, which makes it really, really easy. So there's beef and broccoli, super simple. I will actually link the recipe down below if you're interested in making it yourself. It's become one of our routine meals that tends to happen throughout the two weeks. You have some amazing hair going on there, my friend. This could be why. Do you think that would mess with your hair at all? Just stirring the broccoli in because we've got five minutes left on the rice. Get this all heated up and then we'll thicken it up and then supper's on the table and kids are fighting in the background. Don't know if you can tell, but things are getting real over here. A few moments later, the girls just came down because Bailey has discovered that she rotted her cactus. All that's left in there is green goo. Tegan has decided it needs to be cut in half and Bailey's very excited about this. 
Ew. Like oh, baby, it cut does it. look like oh, cucumber. Yeah. No, Wait, Nala can eat it. Let's give it to Nala. It smells like cucumber. Does it? Yeah, careful. There's some cactuses that you can eat. Yeah. Okay, you guys are way too much alike with the whole, let's chop it up. It served its purpose. Did it, though? Did it? This is scary. Oh. Mm, smells cumber. <laughs> yeah. BFG. These girls are spending time together. They walked the cat and now they're walking the dog. So cute. I don't think that there are very many things more rewarding as a parent than seeing your kids being friends. And some of our kids have really big age gaps between them. So you, when you see them being friends, it just feels really good to see that they like each other and they want to be with each other. It's kind of cool. I'm going to end today's vlog here. Thanks so much for hanging out with us today. Please consider subscribing to our channel and helping it grow and we'll see you soon.